In the last 10 years, there has been a significant change in the neighborhood surrounding Temple University. The influx of students into what used to be a residential area has been the cause of much controversy. Philadelphia Urban Creators, or PUC, a nonprofit student run organization, has been doing what they can to make the experience positive for everyone. The recent project is a farm they started at 11th and York Streets, across from the Fairhill Public Housing Projects. Its beginnings came from a disaster over 1,200 miles away. Alex was bringing people to New Orleans to uh, do some service work. And I was like, oh, great, let me just go to New Orleans for winter break. That'll be fun, little service trip, go help clean up some Katrina stuff. Went down there, changed my whole entire life, and came back to Philly like, okay, what are we going to do in Philly to get it going? Like, how can we help the community? How can we make something sustainable that encourages people to eat right and understand the issues with social justice and environmental justice and food policy? And from there, just took off. I the goal of the farm is simple yet complex. It is expansive in its approach as well as personal. Ever-changing, it has the ambition of its young creators. But this is not to say there haven't been obstacles along the way. Getting funds for this has been tough. Uh, I think that a big reason that we've struggled is because we're a youth-led organization and a lot of people don't necessarily take us seriously. But, you know, we have gotten some small grants here and we do fundraise, but the kind of the, the good side of that is that everything that we have built here and everything that we've done and will continue to do is on as low a budget as anyone could ever have who's attempting to do something like this which I think is really a powerful aspect of this because it's an accessible model. From the start, they knew they didn't want to take this project on alone, so they brought in students from area high schools to assist them. In many ways, this has been equally rewarding for everyone involved. Seeing kids in the neighborhood really appreciate the space and claim it as their own and understand that um, this is for them ultimately and you can this is ours, this is not mine, I didn't make it for you, we, we created this together and you inspired me to do this. I'd say the most rewarding thing is kind of the untangible aspect of what happens here and what's starting to grow here. I mean, through the process of building this and creating this, uh, we've made a lot of like amazing friendships and bonds that, um, as far as I know, don't really exist or pop up too often. And relationships such as these will last much longer than any vegetable or fruit they could ever plant. Jared Brooks, Philadelphia Neighborhoods, Fairhill.